3dprintingindustry.com recently published an in-depth and comprehensive report for the medical and healthcare sectors that considers the applications and opportunities of 3D printing technologies within these industries. Today, 3dpi.tv has a unique opportunity to talk to the main author of the report, Dr. Phil Reeves, from leading consultancy and research firm Econolist. Dr. Reeves has more than 20 years of experience in the additive manufacturing and 3D printing industry and has conducted research and consultancy projects for global, multinationals, and government. All of his insight and research skills were brought to bear on the 3DPI medical report. Hello, Dr. Phil. How are you? Welcome to the show. Very well, thank you. And if you're ready, let's start with the first question. So what does this 3D printing report cover? Yeah, the, the report considers the, the current and the future scale of the opportunity for 3D printing in the healthcare and medical sector. It considers the technologies, it considers the materials, the scale of, of investment both now and the scale of, of monetary investment moving forward. Uh, the report scans and spans the whole uh, medical domain in which 3D printing is currently used. We look at medical devices and implants, we look at hearing aids, uh, orthopedic implants, prosthetic limbs, corrective insoles. So we cover a very broad range of medical applications and look at the scale of those applications. All right, and what in your opinion are the most interesting opportunities for 3D printing developments within the medical and healthcare sectors? Sure, I think you know, at the moment the most interesting short-term developments are centered around, around data, around digital scanning uh, and taking patient-specific data, whether that's CT data, MRI, ultrasound data, or even laser scanning of patients, and then using that for personalized medical devices or personalized implants. Looking a little bit more into the long term, I think uh, the opportunities are more around active medical devices, uh, so things like drug-eluting stents and, and the ability to embed function into some of the three-dimensional parts that we print. And Dr. Phil, my last question for you is, who do you think would benefit most from this report? Yeah, the report's aimed at a, a wide cross-section of readers from researchers and academics who've got an interest in understanding the current state of the art with 3D printing and the medical sector, through to clinicians or medical device engineers uh, working in manufacturing companies. I think also the reports of, of interest to the investment community who want to understand really the, the scale and value of 3D printing in the medical sector both today and moving forward over the next five to ten years. All right, well thank you very much Dr. Phil for talking to us today and we look forward to seeing you featured here again soon. Thank you. To get your own copy of the 3D Printing Industry Report for the medical and healthcare sectors, please visit 3dprintingindustry.com reports.